You bring up the arc where you were raped in Downton, and you've talked in many interviews about feeling such an obligation yeah. to honor the proper emotional response yeah. and trauma of a, an actual rape victim so, so that people watching this don't feel like, the, oh, they're misrepresenting this or they're playing light over a part that's heavy or vice versa, right? Mm -hmm. I always feel like that, you know, as I said, about sensitive subject matters or, you know, because so much of my life it, at work, you know, you spend at work going, oh, this is kind of weird. I'm pretending to be somebody else for a living. <laughs> this right. is kind of a strange job when you stop and think about it. It's like, I'm not saving lives. I'm just pretending to be somebody else. And then you get these moments where what you're doing is actually really, really important. And that was certainly something that I took extremely seriously and I always do that that it's I did you know I didn't write it it wasn't my content but it's my job to make it as believable as possible and it is my job to um, you know to make sure my work is the best it can be and I knew on Downton I knew for the show to tackle such a subject matter would be controversial in some way I didn't really realize how quite how controversial it was going to be but um, I'm also a part, you know, I'm also the smallest part, if you like, but the first part people see of opening up a conversation about a certain subject matter. For, sure. for me, that's how I think about it. Maybe I think too much about it, but um, that is a big responsibility to, um, and if drama has any sort of, you know, more meaningful side to it, it certainly you know, opens up conversations about things, you know. It yeah. shows people a different a different life, you know, for somebody. It can make a viewer empathise with something they've never empathised with before.